up you guys so today's gonna be a new tutorial showing you guys three music video effects that you can do in Premiere Pro okay so this video was actually sponsored by Storyblocks and Storyblocks is a website where you can get many many stock images including vectors high quality photos and icons and a lot more and you can get all the stock images you can ever imagine from Storyblocks you can actually download anything from 400,000 images in the member library and you can save 60% on membership content so I'm actually going to be partnering up and giving you guys a 7 day free trial if you want to try out Storyblocks. You can test it out. You can actually access the high quality photos and vectors and all that stuff. So you guys can click the link in the description and start today and you can start downloading. Okay, let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm in Premiere Pro and I have my clip right here. First effect we're going to be doing is using a lens distortion effect. So let's go to effects and search up lens distortion and let's put that on our clip. So this effect is kind of like a bump effect. So you're gonna wanna do it when there's like a harsh beat or something. You can adjust the curvature to make it like scale in and do this cool distortion effect. And you can also use vertical decentering or horizontal. Just play around with the other ones, but you're gonna wanna use curvature. And then we're gonna press the keyframe button at a random point in the clip where there's a harsh beat and then we're gonna keep it at zero and then press the right arrow key about two times depends how long you want the effect to last and you can change the curvature so it scales a lot in so i'll go to about negative 54 and then we're gonna press the right arrow key just as many times as you did before so maybe like three times and then press the reset button Okay, so now for the next effect, I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and drag the clip to the second video line. So we have two copies of the clip. So this is going to be kind of like a ghosting effect. So for my bottom clip, I'm going to scale it in so it kind of offsets. So I'm going to go to about 107. And then I'm going to go back to my first clip and then use the opacity. And now you can see that if I drag those opacity numbers, you can see like a cool little ghosting effect. Okay, so I'm going to start my keyframe at 100%. And then I'm going to press the right arrow key about four times and then i'm gonna bring the opacity down to zero and then we're gonna press alt on that last keyframe and then bring it up a bit forward after that last keyframe you're gonna press the right arrow key about four times and then press the reset button so it goes back to the original clip so that's a cool effect to also do on a beat in the clip another technique you can use is to offset the bottom clip so i'm gonna cut it in the middle and then i'm gonna bring the bottom clip like two frames to the right and then i'm gonna bring the opacity of my top clip to about 27 percent now it has this cool ghosting effect okay so now for the last effect uh this is a very simple coloring effect i'm gonna go and search up hls and then we're gonna adjust the hue as you can see if i scrub through these numbers next to hue it changes from like different colors and it looks pretty cool so we can keyframe this to make a cool effect so i'm going to start it at zero press the keyframe button and then then and then you can go forward uh to however long you want this last and drag that number all the way up and you can kind of just play around with this cool effect so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys